I look up to anybody in the media. I mean, celebrities are mainly overpaid and have bad moral characteristics. Mm, I really like Diane Sawyer. I don't know if that's. Um, she seems very, very professional, and she seems to control the room that, that she's in. I just know. I think she just is very, very powerful. Um, she's very well spoken. She is. Um, I, I don't want to say controlling, but she's very demanding, and she's very. I don't know. She just kind of puts her strength out there. If that makes sense. Um, I would say someone I admire would be Beyonce. For sure. I just see her as a really strong person. I feel like she's really talented and she never lets herself do anything too crazy. Like, you don't hear much about her doing anything bad. I think that she respects herself and she tries to, like, share that to other girls. And I think that she is kind of a smart, intelligent person. And I think she's really talented. Kate Hudson, because she has small boobies, and Anne Hathaway, because she's pale and she didn't do anything about it. Um, they're very good at acting. I would say more, it's more like this, I don't think, I don't think I can reach that ever. I don't think I could ever be like them. And I don't like to say I want to, but I feel like it's almost like this unnatural thing. Like, they're made to seem so perfect and so talented and so like, have it together and I'm like, that's not even possible. I don't know. I would say more inspired. Um, not necessarily by the ones whose who are, actions are always looked down upon by but those ones that have actually made a difference. The ones who, like Beyonce, like her, who are fulfilling these roles and making a difference, sending out a message that's positive people who are playing roles that people can relate to in everyday life. She's a really good example to women because she is standing up in a group of a lot of men that's dominated by men and showing women that you can do whatever you want no matter like how many men are trying to take over. Definitely more inspired. I made me feel better about myself. <laughs> I would necessarily agree with it. There are several, several celebrities who have received fame, um, not necessarily through actions that people would necessarily think deserved it. Um, and of course, there are attributes about Kim Kardashian and Nicole Richardson that deserve you know, recognition, but maybe not in the way that a lot of us see it, yeah. in the way that they they should deserve it. People that are famous that have their fame just by being famous shows the characteristics of society that we live in. Uh -huh. like, you know, we rose these people and put them on a pedestal just because somebody else had already done it, so. I think it's a joke. <laughs> but straight up. <laughs> Some people are just, they should not be famous. <laughs> Others, they worked for it, so have at it. They're really smart for being able to trick people into liking them and giving them money through the ways of their media and television shows and stuff like that. So really they're smarter than us because they're making more money just for being themselves, so they're smarter than you. I think it shows that life is easier for pretty people. Because I feel like if these famous people that didn't really do anything, if they were average looking or kind of ugly, like, they wouldn't really be famous because people wouldn't want to, like, obsess over them. Men in the media are represented as rich, powerful, influential people, and most women that you see in the media that aren't, you know, Ann Poulter or Katie Couric or somebody on the news, most female quote unquote celebrities are presented as sex symbols and objects of that nature that aren't valued for anything other than their physical attractiveness or anything like that. My quick answer is no, because like they always say that like you know men get more everything basically. But I would say when it comes to like pop things and like celebrities, there's a lot more attention on females, and that's coming from appearance. So. Well, they all get. I think they all get attention for different things, just because different people do different things. Never really thought about that before. Um, I almost feel like women are more represented in the media just for like beauty and anything like that um, and they get called you know nasty names more than men do in the media I would think. Yeah. <laughs> no, in, in spite of the media it would probably be a better way of... Um, yes, I was
I mean, we're in 2000, we're in the 21st century, and women are, I'm trying to think of a way to word this, women don't want to, or are, are not in a position to, that they don't want to run to get anything, any position of power, because they're afraid that the media will strike them down and make them out to be... So it's working against It's working. Them. It, the way that it's always been is working against them in that they don't want to subject themselves to that so they're not going to get anywhere. No. I think if anyone says that, then they're misinterpreting what's being said because I do think that like when women get, um, like the pop stars or whatever, or like the actresses, when they get... Um, when, what would it be, like attention or media time or whatever. Like I said, it's mainly coming from like, I feel like something sim like, not substantial, just their appearance and just their like, you know, like when you look at uh, professional like, po politicians and stuff or like people who are really making a difference into things, there's still much more weight on men. I don't know, I think that there's definitely been an uptick in the like area that they feel like empowered and stuff, uh, definitely because of the awareness of social issues and stuff, I think that they have become a little bit more empowered over the last couple of years, but, or I guess in the last couple of decades it would be, but definitely nothing like the superiority that men have still, um, that bias anyways. Um, definitely in the political world as well as the celebrity world, you see a lot of women who have run um, for positions as politicians and you know they've gained a lot of recognition for that, as well as actresses and celebrities in the social media as well. I mean, I would like to say yes, but I don't know. I mean, I'm sure that they're not, but I can't tell you an example of why or why not. We've definitely made progress, but women are still viewed as like for their beauty and everything instead of their accomplishments. I feel like from where I'm at, you know, I always feel like it's pretty equal. I've never really felt like I'm any less than a boy. But um, I know that it's not the case. Like I know that like men have more advantages, I feel like, and you know, they're probably respected more too in like a serious sense and like in the terms of like um, education and their brains and things, you know, I do think men have a lot more, they're seen a lot more with that, but I don't know, I would say it personally like affects me, so like I don't know how to answer that, because I would say yes from where I'm at, but I think globally, maybe not, probably not. Definitely in other countries, no, women yeah. are not valued at all, but in America, we're doing okay. They've not reached a level of equality that we that we should be at. Politically, they have equality, and then in different areas, maybe not so much. I still feel like women, like when they're a CEO of a company, they still get disrespected more than a man would. Legally, they're supposed to, but mentally, between actual individuals, like there's people that are men are still stronger. They're still supposed to be leaders. They're still the head of like big companies and everything. In the U.S., much more so than anywhere else, um, we still have cultures that um, suppress women in everything—not just religion, but just overall. Um, I think that they are still trying to get into the um, into basically a power seat. Um, I think that they still want to take the back seat on most issues. I think probably professionally, they have more so. But um, in like pop culture and things, I don't think they have. Because I think some men still think that women should be, you know, kind of barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen. That's just their spot, which is totally not true. But I think a lot of men think like that. And that's probably not a very good thing. So, yeah. It's gotten um, a lot better over the years. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the men have always seemed more inferior to women. Um, or superior to women, but I think it's gotten a lot better over the years. Maybe it hasn't always been this way, but the fact that it's um, a lot different than what it was in the past, you can really tell the difference.